are my Cox Pit Special little stinkers uh, built up from uh, airworthy but uh, broken parts. Uh, this one's called Chip. Uh, you see I used a damaged little stinker wing, repaired the tip. Uh, it has a um, broken fuselage side, which is pretty typical. Um, the engine is also damaged, it's badly marred from the previous owner, but it was rebuilt by EX Engines and it's in, uh, and, and I did run this and post a video of that. And this one here is, I call it Deuce, because it's the second one I put together. Also with a broken fuselage side that uh, came to me already repaired and the repair is pretty good. So I just used it. Um, this one had the typical broken struts and uh, so I just had to cut the remains of the struts away from the top wing and I rigged up this system of uh, just press fitting these struts I made from a scrap piece of plastic. Um, as you can see this one already has lead outs installed. Uh, I just did that in order to uh, test my lead out making ability and the way I did that is I made a jig, which is here. So the jig I built out of a piece of scrap lumber from the hardware store. Um, on this end we have a fixed screw point and a removable screw point. So the um, control, the bell crank goes here and then the um, first point I put in was six inches which is what I needed for the little stinkers pit specials that, that lead out is only six inches long uh, it's a typical it's a Brodak one half a uh, lead out kit um, and then I for future use of already I've also put uh, you know different holes 9 12 15, 18, 21, and 24. I think that should be enough uh, length uh, for any of my future needs. Um, so basically to do the lead outs, you have to disassemble the airplane. Uh, so I, I ran te run tested them to make sure the engines were good and nothing was gonna shake off, uh, that the glue joints and things that I, I put in it would hold everything was good so I took the plane apart and then you have to obviously put the the bell crank here uh, and then thread and after you do the first uh, uh, loop of you know securing the bell crank to the lead out you have to thread the lead out through in this case the uh, left hand fuselage side and the strut in order to um, you know have the lead out function uh, so I'm going to do that again with um, Chip and I will do a video at each step and then edit it all together so you can see how uh, my jig works. Okay, so this is step one of the process. Um, you see I've got the first loop made with the bell crank tied in there. And then I had to thread the control, the lead out line through the left side of the fuselage. And then in this case, I had to thread it through uh, the strut that's glued to the wing. And now we will put the ferrule. There's a little ferrule and I use the uh, drill bit that I used to to drill out the holes and it matches the ferrule so I put the ferrule on there and then now we will do the second loop of the uh, lead out on the ferrule pulling everything nice and tight and then it will be repeating for the other up line and because I'm using the jig hopefully everything will be the nice same length and I won't have to do too much adjustment on my control handle when I'm flying. 
All right, this is step two. I've got the loop with the control, the bell crank, through the left fuselage side, the wing strut, and then I have a completed um, loop outside the strut for where the flying wires will attach with lead out clips. So to remove everything, I have it set up where I will pull the drill bit out that releases this end. And then over here, um, what I did is I put this screw in solid and I have this screw is just kind of pressed in just a slip fit with a nut to kind of control the height uh, that I'm working at there. And once you unscrew it, uh, you can actually pull the assembly off the screw. And then you are free to do it again with the other side of the bell crank. Um, obviously looping it through the other hole, other hole in the fuselage, keeping everything straight, and then back through the wing strut. Then you'll have both lines done. And then uh, you can reassemble the airplane um, pretty easily. So off to step three, I guess. So this is the completed uh, leadouts. Here's the bell crank. Goes through the fuselage side and through the wing strut. So the next step is to begin reassembling the airplane. So for assembly, the, um, you know, the bell crank just keys into the wing. There's a hole in the wing. Uh, the fuselage side slips over the wing and then the uh, this wing mount goes into the uh, top of the fuselage here. So I will keep assembling and then hopefully have it done for the next shot. Okay, so we're almost complete. Um, thought I'd stop to give a little tip. Um, assembling these things is is uh, a challenge. It's a puzzle. Uh, you got to get the engine in, the wing notched into its space, and theoretically also uh, mount the canopy. This is my repaired canopy. I put a tie wrap on there where the tab was broken. Anyway, so one trick I've come up with is to once you've juggled the wing and the engine mount landing gear in place, I go ahead and put the first screw in, the longest of the three screws, leaving the back two screws out. And that allows you to actually um, spread the fuselage apart so you can kind of slip the canopy in place and uh, that's just a little trick so let me go ahead and put that together okay here we are lead outs and assembly completed um, this is chip and over here on the window is deuce so these guys are going to be ready to go out for flying i'm probably going to do a few other little patches Maybe add some scotch tape to the to the tails to hold things together. Maybe add a little scotch tape around the canopy because I don't want to lose them. Um, other than that, uh, I think they're ready to go, and uh, hopefully, I'll have a flying video soon. Till next time.